Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Jailbreak video. My name is Zero Mode, and today we are going to be talking about the newest Jailbreak update. And we're going to be talking a lot about it. So, uh, we are going to be talking everything that was added. So let's begin. So let's go over to the one million dollar dealership. Actually, let's discuss the biggest change to almost the entire map. You can now knock over pretty much anything in your way. And this is very cool because it allows people to go through things that they sh that they couldn't before so things like that like that don't know why these are literally in the ground they even make a little particle effect and you can even destroy this fun um, now let's and also police markers are now in game so let's go talk about the full bike and I literally just realized I passed it. Um Alright, so let's go talk about the full bike first since that was literally the first ever thing. So you can find over that the one million dollar dealership and you can see it has a really nice sleek design when you get in it. Looks really cool. It has the same speed everything. Now, unfortunately, it has a problem. It can barely climb anything. As you can see, it's barely even climbing. It's basically glued to the ground, which I do not like. But I do still like the fact that you do no longer need the... Um... The Volby glitch to actually work this thing. It's really nice. Sleek. Looks amazing. It actually uses three trails now. And it also likes to front flip a lot. So, uh. Anything changing here, actually? I want to know. Uh, but, anyways. It can barely go over anything, which I'm not a big fan of. Now, let's go over the police HQ, which I'm going to be going to right now. And you can see it's just as bad as the old one. So, let's just go over here to the main entrance. For here. Right here is the new, um... HQ So we're gonna walk in and you can see it has a big billboard. It has um, a big star carpet. It has uh, a Rolls Royce for some reason this actually rolls down Pretty nice um, It this is a auto you know thing and there is in fact another thing and now there's two things that are wrong with this picture and the extent of that but there's a few things wrong with this picture but I'll go in the way after I get to the top floors so the second floor is literally the gun shop and you can see it has like a little bit of a railing so you can jump off if you want um, we can get eagles shoot get a thing there use this to go onto the f a third floor which has a whole bunch of computers taken directly from the old city police station um you got every single thing they actually rem finally removed that spawn and you can see we go over here we have a helicopter spawn but if we go up here, there's a little bird spawn. Now, let's talk about something which I get bugged the most. And that is this. You can see the crane's still here, but there's nothing to be built. 
So, here's the good question for Batman. Why is the crane here if there's literally no construction building at all? Because the only one I'm thinking is this one, but it's not changed at all, which kind of pisses me off. Um, but they did in fact update the crane a little bit. They actually made it that part orange or red. They actually made this part a bit more cone shaped. Now, let's talk about the new vehicle, aka the Sentinel, which is located directly inside of the military base. It is located on this little area here. Cost $250,000. Pretty pricey, but kind of it seats one two three four five six seven so let's hop in it and um it's actually pretty decent and actually i'm gonna check something quickly they did in fact update it that's good that's very good um but the it's pretty good it's not the best vehicle in the game but it's a decent vehicle like it's not bad at all but it's very cool indeed um and you can see at um at full what max it's decent and if we go over here to customize it 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 does in fact like to ufo too um, but you can see it's actually pretty decently fast for a cop transport vehicle. Also, uh, something made a return in this update. So let's go over to here and you'll notice something. Where is the, the classic? Well, it's gone and as you can see, the classic has been replaced by the one and only dirt bike not dirt bike doom buggy and well you might be thinking well why on earth is it back well it's fixed it does no longer flip out it actually um is way more controllable um it's still pretty fast it's not the fastest anymore but it's actually fixed which i love as you can see, it's actually pretty good. It doesn't bounce anymore. But uh, when you drift, it goes like the original. Um, also, they actually removed a few police stations. They actually removed the old one right here. So the mini police station literally does not exist anymore. It's gone. The up every single bounty thing so now um apparently uh the update by like at least 500 each robbery and they um they also uh they also changed a few things so they added more street lights and all that that's one major thing you can see they made um let's just go over here so they actually did this they made it so it's a lot thinner and the door is like that and also you can see the bank truck is going but um pretty big update it's not as big as uh, the tomb update uh, tomb update is in fact still good, just not as good now. But, um, I really, really like this update because of the fact that it gives more poss possibilities to, you know, role playing all that and all that above I'm just upset the fact that they made it the doom buggy return even though they literally removed it um 
I'm not a big fan of that. Because first of all, it was removed for a good reason and then they just added it right back and I don't like that. I also don't like how they kept the, um, uh, what is it called? They basically kept the, uh, the, uh, glass, the helipad's glass, which I do not like that, that much. To be honest, it's not the greatest look. Um, I just feel like that they should have also added back the construction site just on, the, like, this white building, because it's literally hovering right over the everything. See, so, yeah, um, not that much changes to the actual map itself, but, like, more of, like, gameplay changes. I mean, now you literally can knock over anything. I'm not entirely sure if you can actually destroy these. Oh. Oh, you can. Oh, that's a cool feature. You can actually make them explode. Never even knew that. It also looks like they updated this. With, like, new little benches and all that. Oh, and I... They also fixed the tire popping on these things. So now, your tires will actually be popped on the... Anything that was not able to be popped. So the bikes, the ATV, and the Volt bike... And I honestly feel like they should just revamp the whole thing because it's really buggy. It climbs mounds with ease. But, uh... I hope that the, the next update is way better than before because, uh, you know, reasons. And, ooh. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this update guide video. Um, you'll be seeing not that much uploads, uh, by the way, Beast Within 4 is still in the works. Still in the works, that, it's not dead yet, not yet, um. I guess I can see you guys in the next video, so long, and, um, they removed it. They are moved it. Oh no. They removed that, um, the blammo dude. Like, that's actually sad. They removed him. Thought I'll see you guys in the next video. So long. Peace out. Bye.